Hi there. Now, in this video, I want to continue where we left off in the previous video. If you watched it, that was on finding the minors of all the elements in this particular matrix. Now, in this video, we're going to extend that work and we're going to look at how we go on to find the cofactor of A. And we need this because we're going to be meeting it again when we come to finding the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix. So let's start by just recapping, in case you didn't see that last video, what we meant by a minor of an element in a 3 by 3 matrix. So we saw that if we had an element A and we imagined crossing off the row through A and the column through A, it left us with four elements. The minor of A was defined as the determinant of those four remaining elements. And you can see in this second example, if we had the element H down here, we would imagine crossing off that row and that column passing through H, leaving us with these elements A, C, D and F. And the minor of H then was found by working out that determinant. So I've taken the same matrix that we had in the previous video. And so if we find the minors of this matrix, it will look something like this. I've called it A with a subscript here M for the minors of matrix A. And you can check out these determinants. We did it, as I say, in the previous video. You'll notice I've starred this one just so it corresponds with that determinant there, okay? And I've also looked at this element down here, the minus two, and it's minor, as you can see here. But this is basically what we talked about, as I say, in the previous video. Now, what we need to do is remember what we call the sign rule. And what I'm going to do now is just put these signs in front of each of these individual minors. And if we do that, that is called the cofactor of the matrix. In this case, the matrix A. And I've written it as A and just written COF as a subscript. And I've put those signs in front of each of those determinants using this rule here. And if you work out the results of each of these determinants, putting the sign in front, you'll get this result for the cofactor of the matrix A. So do check those results out for further practice. And that gives us the cofactor of the matrix A.